unit 2, module 2. Shapes. Unit objectives. By the end of this unit, students will be able to explain shapes, describe different types of shapes, explain the composition and relationship between shapes, list the uses of shapes and recall associations of shapes. Introduction Any element that is used to determine or give form can be described as shape. Shapes can be seen every day in logos, flags, books and apparels. A shape can exist in separation or used in union with different types of lines. Shape defines a two dimensional or a three dimensional space. The other elements of design like line, space, value or color essentially define the shape. When blended, these other elements form the shapes that is seen in various designs. A shape arises when a tone or color fills an area within lines. A shape is the brain's effort at deciding an object as identifiable or logical to one's experience. The two dimensional world consists of three geometric shapes, the square, the triangle and the circle. All the other geometric shapes are certain combinations of these three. Page 10. A shape can be formed by a line, also by a color and value changes which define their edges. When designs are concerned, shapes are created when the ends of lines are combined to enclose areas. One can also see more complex 
organic shapes in natural and man made objects such as the mountains, vehicles, silhouettes of leaves, or other routine objects. Shape is the foundation of form. Types of shapes. The different types of shapes are natural, stylized, geometric, abstract, organic, positive and negative, static and dynamic. Natural shapes. Natural shapes are known as the shapes that replicate nature or the regular man made objects shapes. Natural shapes can be easily differentiated because they appear to be things that we are normally conversant with. A natural sketch of a palm leaf would look similar to a real palm leaf. Few more examples of shapes of common man made objects could be the shape of books, the shape of a table or buttons and so on. If you consider the leaf picture that is shown here, it is pretty evident that the sketch is as it is. Hence, this is called to be a natural shape because it can be easily identified as the sketch of a palm leaf without any stylizing. This picture shows the regular or the natural shape of a pen. The picture on the right shows the natural shape or the basic shape of a chair. From this we understand that a natural shape can also be called as the basic or the default shape. Natural shapes, contemporary use in fashion. Now let us look at some examples in fashion. We can see a printed outfit in this picture. It is an outfit with a nature inspired print using the natural shapes of leaves, flowers 
and stem. The images shown here are the natural shapes of the 70s. In this case, we are talking about the shape of the garment or in other words, the silhouette of the garment. We will see more in detail about silhouettes in another module. The picture on the left is from the collection of designer Herpen. It is a nature inspired dress at Paris Fashion Week. The picture on the left shows stone or pebbles on, on the right reminds us of the natural shape of snakes. When we look at this picture, fashion here has been conceived from natural shapes and art forms by designer Sarah Burton. This image is from Alexander McQueen, ready to wear spring summer show, amassing natural shapes during Paris Fashion Week in France. On the right are pictures by Keen Ethro. This collection is a tribute to all the good things that are wild and free. It includes untamed nature and open landscapes. Talking about the silhouette or the outline of the garment in this picture, the designer Maki OH accentuates the model's natural frame through this dress. What it means is that the shape of the garment is natural as we know it and does not possess a stylized shape. On the right, we see an autumn winter collection by Giorgio Armani. Again, the silhouettes of this collection possess a basic shape in nude colors. stylized shapes. Stylized shapes are rudimentary or modified varieties of existing natural shapes. They are either historical or exaggerated. If you look at a stylized shape, you would be able to recognize it as one 
that we are already aware of. Nevertheless, a stylized shape is not an exact replica of a natural shape. A stylized drawing of a tree's branch may have a few features different from an actual tree's branch, but is still identifiable. Similarly, have a look at the image shown here. We can easily say that this is a drawing of a scorpion, but by nature the scorpion does not have this exact shape, thus it is a stylized version of a scorpion. Page 21. Shown here is a stylized drawing of a person sitting on a wheelchair. It is a symbol used to signify a place for handicapped people. But we all know that it is not an exact drawing of a handicapped person. So given that its natural shape is not exactly like this, the picture here is a stylized version of the same. The sun is enormous and is similar to a fireball in nature radiating in all directions. The picture shown here evidently looks like the sun but the shape of the rays are stylized. Different stylized shapes of the sun can also be rendered. Let us see how stylized shapes are used in fashion. The outfit here has an Art Nouveau print. Art Nouveau is a stylized form of natural motifs, leaves and stems. These stylized forms are typically from nature and provide a continuous sense of movement. The picture on the left shows a design from Peter Pilato. The hemline of the dr dress is not the usual one. It has been stylized to form a certain different shape. The picture on the right has again a stylized shape on the bodice and also at the bottom hem. This is entirely different and stylized from the usual hem line of skirts that we are known about.
The upper torso in this image is made with the laser cut polyester taffeta petals used in the form of a pleak. When we observe the applique work closely, the petals do not form the exact shape of flowers, but they have a stylized form. This is an image from Emilio Della Morena Spring Ready to Wear Fashion Show. It has a stylized wrap over shape on the top and a skirt panel. The picture on the right is a stylized floral tube dress. This picture has a stylized A-line silhouette from Josie Natori, Fall 2018, ready to wear. The picture on the right is from Carolina Herrera, New York Fashion Week. This menswear outfit is certainly not one of the basics. It is from Gareth Poo Fall Winter Collection. The picture on the right is from Dine, which is a go to brand for athletic wear outside the grips of the large corporations. geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are ones which can be mathematically formed or have the impression of being mathematically formed. Some simple geometric shapes are square, rectangle, triangle and circles. Page 13. Geometric designs are shaped by using tools such as a ruler, compass, protractor, or other measuring instruments. It is reproduced by measuring their angles, lengths and width and so on. These can be made in mini or larger forms or when used in combinations create different exciting shapes. For instance, a star is formed 
by a combination of triangles. The abstract geometric image shown here is one such example of combination of geometric shapes. What we see here is a very fascinating composition of a geometric shape. A simple triangle is continued in different shades of grey and accented with green. What we can see here are block repeats of geometric shapes. One single motif has been repeated over and over again in regular intervals to form a geometric print. Let us look at some examples of usage of geometrical shapes in fashion. The picture on the left shows geometric abstraction, meaning geometric shapes have been used randomly in an abstract manner. The picture on the right shows geometric shapes made by the fabric itself by manipulating the fabric. It is from Christopher Kane's show at London Fashion Week. The images show apparels like boxes standing away from the body which are also called sculpted silhouettes in monochromatic colors. This is a part of Central St. Martin's graduation show. Kai made a bold runway extract with wild head to toe prints. It has a steep styled graffiti look. It is fun eccentric style with its combination of geometric shapes. On the right we have an elegant representation of geometry in a garment with elegant usage of colors. This is the Valerie Mayan look from episode 1 of Project Runway. 
please note how the top part of the garment has different geometric patches in tint stones and shades of the same color. We can spot a series of geometric shapes in these garments. The first one is a hound's tooth pattern. Second one shows intersection of different shapes. The third one shows a similar geometric pattern in a smart silhouette. The fourth image shows geometry created in the crop top by the use of color blocked panels. These dresses in the picture shown here depict a shift from the more feminine and dressy look of women's wear towards a more neutral and edgy style. With the advent of technology, digital design has become more popular and printing has become more interesting. Thus, we can see prints with a loud juxtaposition of line with the houndstooth shape in different colors on the left and square shapes on the right. The image shown here reveals a very interesting outfit in three different colors. This has been achieved by paneling and color blocking different geometric panels together. On the right is an example of sculptural fashion with geometric structure and exaggerated silhouette. Shows an Aaron Coleman dress with the usage of geometric shapes. Also on the right is an interesting black and white dress in geometric shapes. The picture on the left is an example of architectural fashion design dress with angular shapes and structural creation. On the left is a much more wearable design. This is model Max Azria wearing Herb Ledger spring summer runway outfit. It has symmetrical geometric shape achieved by printing. A 
Another example of sculptural fashion can be seen in this image. It has geometric shapes also in the collar and also in the silhouette. The picture on the right has great proportion, broad shoulders that flatters the waistline, making it appear thinner and also has bold geometric panels on this dress. Geometric shapes were interpreted into figure hugging paneled wool and leather dresses in this collection. It has bold zigzag stripes and edgings. Please note the sleeve. The picture on the right has colorful geometric print. These are outfits from Holly's runway show. Holly is well known for her cubic patterns and geometric shape. The picture on the right is from designer Aaron Coleman. Her collection features angular silhouettes and geometric patterns. This collection shows a mix of patterns. It syndicates floral and animal prints with bold geometric patterns and art deco designs of the Manhattan skyline. We see geometric shapes in menswear. We are told Zahoran wearing Nautica jet navy reflective wool pea coat. Jet navy cashmere jagged stripe high mock and jet navy stretch jogger at the nautical fall runway. On the right, we can see geometrical shapes at the hemline of the jacket. It is model C no pry, sporting nautical sail cream wool admiral coat, camel mohair, merino horizon turtleneck and sail cream twill officer pant. This is a resort cruise pre-spring women's collection by Roxanda. It has a very interesting geometric shape print in interesting fuchsia and burgundy white and black colors. Page 48. This outfit is a geometrical game indeed. 
This outfit is a geometrical game indeed. It is from Junior Wantanabe Spring Summer Collection. It resembles art rather than fashion. It is like Pierre Cardin mixed with 60s art. On the right is also an outfit from Wantanabe's collection with advanced geometrical shaped dress. This images shows silhouettes that are very simple but exaggerated with graphic elements, metallics and geometric shapes. Especially look at the orange outfit towards the right. It has a boxy rectangular silhouette similar to the 1920s flapper fashion. Some geometrical shapes in kids wear. The picture on the left shows a boy's summer cotton t-shirt. It has a geometric shape applique in the center front. The picture on the right shows a geometric shape print dress by Bobo Shows. abstract shapes. To describe abstract shapes, what is not abstract is the best way to define it. Any form of a shape that does not fit into any of the previously discussed categories is abstract. It does not have any recognizable form. Abstract shapes do not bear a resemblance to anything. It is immeasurable and possesses no angle. Abstract shapes are free forms. A shape of an amoeba is a good example. Let us look at some uses of abstract shapes in contemporary fashion. The picture on the left shows an abstract print on an off shoulder bubble shaped dress. The picture on the right shows bold abstract shapes in the form of graphic patterns and bright colors.
page 54. Not only abstract, but in this images, we see a series of different types of shapes. It is from New York Fashion Week, Autumn Winter. We can see painted patterns, geometrical shapes and also abstract shapes. On the right, Daisy Loey parades her hourglass frame at London Fashion Week. Page 55. An abstract hand printed look can be seen in this geometric print. On the right is a typical abstract print from Mew Mew. It is an overall dress. In this case, the silhouette or the shape of the garment itself is abstract. This collection was inspired by natural elements such as wind, waves, stones and hence we see the curves, round shapes and fabric erosions. Grazia presents Marga Wayman's Spring Summer Women's Runway Looks. Look how the silhouette and the designs are very abstract. On the right is an art mural portrait dress with abstract combinations and face prints. Very abstract indeed. We can see a series of abstract geometrical shapes. It is from Charlotte Scott, influenced by constructivist Russian artists, including L. Lisitsky.
The picture here shows Todd's autumn winter scale abstracts, bold shapes, abstract graphics, tile patterns, graphic motifs, mosaic and lozenge patterns in tonal and monochromatic colors. On the right shows an abstract shaped silhouette and usage of stripes in a stringle strapped tassel dress. In this image, white is a lead color which transmutes the black into graphic abstract shapes. All of it interprets into a dynamic look for day wear. organic shapes. Organic shapes refer to shapes with a natural flowing look and curved appearance. These shapes and forms are characteristically uneven or asymmetrical. Organic shapes are explained by not being controlled by patterns or precise dimensions in their angles, curves or length of lines. One can find organic shapes with all the uncertainty and freedom that can be seen in a tree branch, rock formation or a leaf ground by an insect. Some examples of organic shapes in fashion. The sculptural image we see here also holds some organic shaped appliques. It is from Marga Bayman's Spring Summer Women's Runway. On the right is Luminosity Fairy Tail Organic Shaped Plain Plaid Tartan Dress. Komede Garkins, designer Ray Kawakubu have shown organic and dramatic shapes in their fall winter 2017-18 runway. On the right are pictures from men's runway catwalk looks in London for autumn winter. It has loops, banded straps 
and organic shaped lace ups. This image is from Iris Van Herpen 2016-17 Fall, Autumn, Winter, Women's Runway Catwalk Collection Looks. It is an organically shaped dress. In fact, both are organically shaped dresses. On the right, are outfits from Del Pozo 2017 Spring Summer Women's Runway Catwalk Looks from New York Fashion Week. Grazia presents again Marga Wayman's spring summer women's runway look. It is from Amsterdam, Netherlands Fashion Week. Outfits in organic shapes with white sheer curves. On the right, the outfit that we see is more of an organic form than clothing. It is a beautifully executed form of shapes and textures. Dramatically created menswear with different organic shape lace up can be seen in this image. On the right is an ultra modern avant garde sculptural fashion in organic shapes at Russia Fashion Week. This is a balloon silhouette seen in Gauri and Nanika spring summer fashion show. Form can be organic and is enhanced by color, shade, tone and texture. In fact, the outfit looks like cotton balls stuck together on the model's body. On the right is are pictures of silhouettes with quilting techniques giving a very organic look. Bipu Mohapatra's Fall 2018 collection is signified in the contrast between delicate Japanese lace and structured silk wool, organic shapes and linear patterns and with expressive colors of plum, medallet, fiery red and berry.
This is an outfit from Dona Karan. The print on this dress has an organic shape. positive and negative shapes. Positive shapes lodge positive space. The background or the area around positive shapes is negative space. A solid piece of sculpture inhabit space and transfers the space around it to come to life. In truth, sculptors consider the entire composition, the interplay between solid and space when they create a work of art. In the image shown, the negative shapes are as clear and discreet as the positive shapes. The negative shape beneath this sculpture recurs the inclusive structure of the sculpture's positive shapes. The geometry of the boxes heaped high highlights gravity and the negative shape in the middle of the sculpture portrays a light playful appearance. As seen in the ceramic vase, the negative shapes on either side of the upper neck nearly mirror the lower bulging positive shape. It results in a theatrical and exceptionally balanced work of art. Positive and negative shapes, contemporary use in fashion. Usage of positive and negative space in contemporary fashion. The yellow outfit shows fabric with highlights eyelets between the space around them resulting in a shape within a shape. The eyelets are delightful and hence the negative space is subtle. On the right is a very good example of the usage of positive and negative space. Please note how the image of a human hand has been incorporated with two different colors, thus creating positive and negative space. The image that we see here, negative space is frequently supposed as subsidiary, yet it is essential. Without it, a composition would be incomplete. On the right, the negative space is the modeled skin 
glancing through the cutouts. This dress uses radiation to create rhythm moving our eye throughout the dress. The picture on the left is from Foster Sarli. It is a black wrap around dress which has the typical usage of positive and negative shaping. The picture on the right shows a very interesting piece an example of positive and negative space. The negative space in this outfit is created by the gap between the sleeve and the body gives this piece an interesting look. The image on the left has a negative shape at the neckline. The picture on the right shows the usage of trims in negative space. It is from Christopher Kane collection. The picture on the left shows an outfit where fashion silhouettes has been created with fabric and metal. This outfit has been inspired by Japanese sculptor Noguchi. The picture on the right shows a skirt which has complex laser cutting. This complex laser cutting in a variety of materials create tough looking laces and plays with sheerness and negative space. We have already come across similar looks when we discussed about lines and stripes. When you look at this image, it is evident that there exists a play between positive and negative space on the surface and around the body. The silhouette is simple yet elegant and cool. The positive and negative space created by the stripes add character to this simple silhouette. The picture on the right is a very good example of color blocking. Contributing the negative positive theme, this kurta with a flat midi skirt is suitable for summer festive times with a fun on the scheme.
this dress is again very sculptural even in the usage of positive and negative space. It incorporates interesting usage of fabrics that makes the dress itself look like a form of sculpture. Again achieved by the usage of positive and negative shapes. This is an image from Project Runway by designer Dom who has played well with negative space both with fabric choices and design choices. On the right is a picture of a printed dress. It depicts graceful use of negative space to print wherein the green is the negative space and the floral foreground forms the positive space. It is from Rocha's design collection. What we can see here is a sculptural deconstructed jacket exploring negative and positive space in a dramatic 3D fashion. On the right we can see Jonathan Simkai dress with similar nail art with the positive and negative space concept. This honeycomb dress is stimulated by the concept of negative space and pure geometry. On the right is yet another example of usage of positive and negative space through color blocking. Static shapes. Static composition suggests that majority of the lines on a page are horizontal or vertical. The concept states that Horizontal and vertical lines have a gentle, calm or tranquil effect on the onlooker. Static shapes, contemporary use in fashion. The image that we see here is from designer Ize Miyake who has made fabric pleats in a very close manner. This is one example of static designing. Similar detailing has occurred in the garment shown here. It is a thoughtful draping of printed shimmering fabrics in soft chenille creating a static shape.
dynamic shapes. Dynamic shapes. Dynamic composition alternatively uses many diagonal lines generally. Diagonals are rather disquieting, which results in a sense of movement, energy, excitement that generates from a dynamic composition. Composition and relations. Shapes can be positioned with other shapes to produce compositions and images. Experimenting with the relationship between the shapes and their contrast or harmony. Uses of shapes. Shapes are used to create visual interest, conducting the eye, consolidate information, build texture, create impression of depth, establish a mood or an emotion. Uses of shapes. Photographs cut into unbalanced shapes as if they were slashed by a knife depicts heightened tension and mood. Shapes have the potential to control layouts, leading the viewer to view certain elements first. Creating patterns and textures from shapes. Each shape fragment is like a bump and the negative space between is like a groove. Association of shapes. Laying shapes together to build images and forms, there stays a tendency to derive associations and meaning from shapes and their relations simultaneously. And from that, one can build up together, encompassing its own derived meaning, emotions and portrayal. Association of shapes. When curved and or rounded forms are positioned against sharp edges, each of it produces a very different character to their designs. Example, curve and circle equals friendly shapes, sharp and spiky creates action and danger. Slim versus bulk shows speed versus sturdiness. Page 112. Conclusion. 
In this module, you have learnt about shapes, trace the history of shapes, Conclusion In this module, you learnt about shapes, the types of shapes, the contemporary use of shapes in fashion, composition and relations, association of shapes. Thank you.